Halo 4 Flight is available for all of us to play right now. And in this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about this flight. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And it greatly helps out this video to get a chance to get in the algorithm of YouTube so more people get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So yes, as the last development update on Friday said that, yes, we're gonna get a little bit delay of Halo 4. I suspected anywhere from Tuesday to Thursday we get the Halo 4 flight and well, Tuesday, we got the Halo 4 flight. So in this video, I might cover everything you need to know about this flight jumping into it. So for the various features that are added in with this flight are input-based matchmaking and crossplay. As you guys might remember, if you watched previous videos of mine, they were talking about possibly updating a mid-patch kind of flight thing for this uh, edition. But it looks like since Halo 4's flight was delayed, there was one blocking bug, they were able to add in the input-based matchmaking server region, region selection and crossplay as well. They mentioned that here that crossplay is fully available for Firefight, Forge, and multiplayer modes. Though for campaign and Spartan Ops, it does not currently support crossplay between Xbox and PC. Though, while I was playing on stream earlier, I did hear saying that like if you matched up together in a, like say like a multiplayer lobby, but then you switch over to play some campaign, then you could crossplay. It's a weird workaround, but apparently it's a possibility you can do. Uh, per piece customization for Halo 4. Guys, if you don't know what we're talking about here for per piece customization, we check it out here. So we go to customization. We'll go to Halo 4 right here. You can see you can choose your helmet, left shoulder, right shoulder, chest, forearms, legs, and visor color as well. You see my Spartan right here. I've kind of gone through and customized them quite a bit. But yeah, like you can literally just scroll through the different kind of armor pieces that you would like for your Spartan or just pretty much like the same kind of customization that you could have for Halo Reach. You could have that same kind of customization in Halo 4, but you don't longer have to deal with like the full blown sets that you had previously in the MCC. You can actually just, you know, customize the game exactly how you like it. Uh, you also get your change your visor color, which is great to see that as well. Uh, Forge has some updates as well with uh, trade zones, uh, new movement controls, and local world access toggle. And in Forge, I gotta show you something really cool a little bit later in this video that you can't do in Forge now that you were never able to do before and something you can't do in any other Forge. We'll check it out after later in this video. You also have advanced graphics controls for your PC only style of gameplay right there, guys. If you actually go under your video, under your settings and things like that, you actually can change the anti-aliasing, the blood, the detail quality, effects quality, lighting, shadows, texture filtering, and water quality as well. Of course, it all just kind of changes if you do graphics quality, you do like enhanced original or performance, it'll automatically change all of these. But if you want to change one specifically, it'll change it to custom. I just run on enhanced just because my PC can run it. And actually, I gotta mention guys, unlimited frames in Halo 4 works super well. Like the frame performance is just as good as Halo 3, just as good as ODST, which makes me believe that eventually you will see possibly an H2A update for the interpolation of the frames where H2A can run unlimited frames smoothly because H2A runs on a modified version of the Halo 4 engine. They're able to get unlimited frames working on the Halo 4 engine. I can imagine that coming across pretty soon to H2A. We also have a text chat ability and moderation. If you don't know what we mean here, it's basically, let me remove my webcam so I don't block anything. If you open up the text chat, yeah, obviously we before we've been able to spew some pretty toxic nonsense in the chat right now. As you can see, I typed in some pretty toxic words and it came out as asterisks. Now you can type in some specific words like the S word itself, it comes up right there. If I type in the F word, it gets blurred. And so this is exactly what I've been wanting the entire time when it comes to the whole text chat issue on the MCC. I don't want to completely remove it, which you can now. You can completely remove the chat. Uh, but now you actually have some moderation you actually can put into your game as well. So then obviously, it kind of muted out the words you're really not supposed to say out in public, which is exactly what I think we've all wanted. And guys, if you want to see something pretty cool, I got my merch shirt in the mail right there. That's pretty awesome. It came from Teespring, guys. If you guys don't know what Teespring is, it's a 
hosting website for merchandise and things like that. Uh, I've put together a bit of a store. If you guys want to check out, link in the description down below. We have uh, my logo that's been posted up there. I also created recently a Halo 2 button combo shirt. If you want to check it out there where basically you can see it has the BXR, the, the XYY, the RRX, the double shot, the double melee, and things like that uh, for different kind of styles of clothing you would like to wear. Supporting your Halo awesomeness while also supporting the stream as well, guys. If you guys want to support the channel, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. It should be below this video as well as a uh, link you can click on to access the merch as well. We've even had a few people buy the logo shirt. We've had people buy the Halo combo shirt as well. So if you guys have, make sure you share it on social media or send me a video of it or something. I'll put it in a video because that's freaking awesome. You guys are willing to support the channel that way. I really do appreciate it. And absolutely massive for your console players. For you console players, absolutely massive field of view options will be available for Halo 4 on Xbox One consoles. Guys, I've read your comments in the chat. I know so many of your console players are needing and wanting the FOV slider. Well, you have it with Halo 4. I was playing earlier on stream, link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. And like they were able to, you know, bump the FOV up to 120 FOV with no frame drops. That's pretty freaking awesome and pretty exciting to know that also can run FOV sliders just fine, which is really great to see. Uh, again, guys, if you are able to sign up for the Halo Insider program uh, before, I think it was like Thursday of last week, then you'll be able to, you're automatically invited. Everyone's invited into this flight if you've signed up previously for the Halo Insider program. If you don't know how to download your Halo Insider, I do have a video on my channel, guys. Link in the description down below will tell you exactly how to download the Halo Insider program on your Xbox within 40 seconds. So you're probably asking, okay, what can we play in this flight and how long will it last? Well, I got the information right here for you guys. You check it out right here. The missions for campaign, we have Requiem, Forerunner, Reclaimer, Shutdown, and Composer with a playlist of Canyon Combat. There's like a playlist of like three different, you know, different campaign missions all thrown together. For multiplayer content, we have social modes. We have 2v2, 4v4, 8-player free-for-all. 12 player free for all, which is infection and AV8 BTB, which I know a lot of you guys are very much looking forward to 8v8 BTB action, me included as well. Uh, for the maps, we have Adrift, Exile, Haven, Longbow, Meltdown, Ragnarok, uh, Impact, Landfall, Skyline, Perdition, and Pitfall as well. And for you have the competitive settings, you have actually 6v6 squad battles. Now for Spartan Ops, you have to click on campaign. Halo 4, Spartan Ops, these are all the missions that are coming with it. You have the Chapter 1, which is Departure, which comes with Land Grab, Sniper Alley, uh, the Challenge, Sacred, and Core. And then if you want to jump into Chapter 2 for the Artifact, Clean Up for Science, Hacksaw, Pelican Down, and Gagarin, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, sad thing here, guys. The videos that come with the Spartan Ops, like the cool cutscenes that actually tell a really good story, you have to go watch the video right here. And when you click on it, it says, in order to view this episode, you have to launch the Halo channel, which if I remember correctly, the Halo channel isn't actually working right now. Uh, so it's actually not in game right now, sadly, when it comes to the cutscenes. Guys, trust me, if you don't have seen the cutscenes in Spartan Ops, you definitely want to check it out. I highly suggest just going on YouTube, just watching all the cutscenes. That's actually kind of more fun to watch than actually play Spartan Ops, in my opinion. But uh, it's there for you guys if you want to check it out. Now, for the playlist options, how long will this flight last? It's going to last until November 2nd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So November 2nd, when the flight will end. As I assumed, it'll be a two-week process, as it looks like right here. Uh, you can guys uh, can check out, they can take a screenshot or pause the video to understand when each uh, playlist will be available. Uh, these play times are just uh, kind of artificial you can play whenever you want uh, they just try to consolidate people together to play uh, i would try to play now as soon as possible while the population is high and people are still trying to play a new experience when it comes to uh playing halo 4 right now because halo 4 is not the most well liked halo multiplayer out of all of them so i can imagine probably in these later weeks to see that these populations would drop so keep an eye out for october 23rd that's the first btb night uh definitely want to jump in and play that guys that btb event night is on the 23rd which ends up being this friday so keep an eye out for that as well now, i'm sure a lot of you guys are questioning well, what about the season 4 content that was supposed to happen right guys uh, you know season 4 is supposed 
supposed to happen with the release of Halo 4. But in the flight, guys, we only see Season 3. But the cool addition that they added in is that you can now have a visual icon representing of what each unlock goes for each game or what part of the game uh, each unlock goes for. So you can obviously, like, this buck right here is for ODST. You can see the ODC icon right there. This nameplate is for the MCC in general. You see MCC written in gold. Art of War weapon camo for the battle rifle for Halo 3. It's listed as Halo 3 right there as well. Now, it's, I'm assuming we probably won't get a chance to see much when it comes to the content available for the uh, Season 4 until the game launches. So once Halo 4 actually launches, we'll see the content that's in Halo 4. Uh, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll let you guys know exactly what's going to be in that, that battle pass as soon as it goes live. Some awesome additions here, guys. You can actually turn off invite notifications. You can also turn off challenge notifications as well. Uh, that wasn't mentioned anywhere within the uh, update information here. Here's just like a quick overview of everything when it comes to the input-based matchmaking right here, the platform-based matchmaking, and the server region selection as well. Uh, you can see the pings. It says population, though I've seen in the previous dev updates, it will tell you either low, medium, or high population when it comes to a server. It won't give you an actual number, which I know a lot of us have been kind of wanting. But let's be honest, if you actually had if you had the actual number, you'd probably just see a ton of YouTube videos of people saying MCC is dying, Halo is dying, which is 100% not the case. Also under controls, you can see where you can have your preferred input device. It's gamepad and or keyboard and mouse. Now, if you guys want to see something pretty cool when it comes to Halo Force Forge, you definitely want to check this out here, guys. So let's check it out right now. You see I've jumped into Halo Force Forge on the map impact right here. And we'll check out the objects that you can check in here, guys. I guarantee you're gonna to want to see this. This is way too cool. If you scroll down to vehicles under MCC, you can choose a broadsword right here. And if you choose another object, you can choose a pelican as well. And not only can you place these on the map, you can actually fly these objects. No joke. Here we go. I'm gonna fly myself a pelican right now how awesome is this look at this how cool is this right here i'm flying a freaking pelican who shoots freaking bullets how cool is that that's so cool yeah like right bumper makes you go down left bumper makes you go up right trigger you can shoot and things like that as well then we can jump over here to this broadsword as well like we did not have these options at all if i remember correctly in halo force forge well, you do now. You can soar throughout the space right here. This looks a little bit janky, but I'm sure this might be kind of uh, worked out a little bit when the game actually finally releases. But yeah, you can play vehicles now within the Forge, which is super, super cool. I'm really looking forward to it. Somehow I died right there. we are looking for some awesome game modes. Forge is going to be awesome when it comes to Halo 4. And so guys, this is fantastic stuff. So after my first night of getting a chance to play Halo 4 on PC, how does it play? Well, it plays really well. Yeah, there are some bugs I've noticed. Uh, there's some issues when it comes to uh, shooting people with like power weapons and then not seeing any information show up in the kill feed or any uh, notification letting you know you got the kill. Uh, but I'm sure that'll be fixed up eventually once the game releases. That's kind of something that needs to be fixed up. I was able to find matches super easily throughout the flight, at least the opening night. Uh, we actually test out the crossplay as well. We had some people in the stream and the, from the chat that I was playing with. Uh, they had people on Xbox, I was on PC, we were matching together. It was working pretty well. Like I didn't come across any issues really. Like I mentioned earlier, the unlimited frames actually works super well in this game. It's really nice. You can actually also choose what frame rate you want to lock your game at, at uh, 60, 120, 180, or 240, and or unlimited, which is weird because I think for my monitor, it's a 144 hertz monitor, which I think is rather common. Uh, you don't have the option to lock your frames at that for some reason. Uh, for most of the time when I was playing, I was getting about in from like 90 to 120 frames, depending obviously on the much geometry I was showing while playing multiplayer. Now I'm playing on the Ryzen 2700 along with a GTX 1080 Ti for my graphics card. So far, my initial impressions of the flight experience has been great. It's been really fun to play Halo 4. Actually, it's kind of weird to say that. I'm looking forward to jumping in, playing the campaign as we mainly focus on the multiplayer side of things for our initial stream. If you guys want to catch us next time we go live, which will be Thursday nights and Tuesday nights, 
Make sure you follow us on the, on the channel, guys, on Twitch. Link in the description down below. Also, guys, make sure you check your Halo Waypoint messages. That's where you will get your invite and your code and everything else to know when you guys get that invite. Go on the HaloWaypoint.com, check your messages, and you'll know exactly if you've been invited. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate checking the videos on the screen right over here. If you missed any content from me recently, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.